Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your NHS IT interview. So if you have an NHS information technology interview coming up for any NHS trust, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of NHS IT interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. Then I'll provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your NHS information technology interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 21 great answers to NHS IT interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest NHS IT interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first IT interview question for the NHS. How can IT improve healthcare delivery? Now, why are you being asked this interview question? Well, this question is being asked to assess your understanding of the intersection between technology and healthcare and to gauge your insight into leveraging IT to enhance healthcare services. So based on this, my top tip is this, provide an example possibly from previous experience, that demonstrates a tangible way in which IT improved healthcare delivery, focusing on patient outcomes, operational efficiency, or facilitating healthcare professionals in their work. Let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. How can IT improve healthcare delivery? IT can be the backbone in enhancing healthcare delivery by streamlining operations, ensuring data accuracy, and facilitating informed decision making. Firstly, implementing robust electronic health records (EHRs) ensures seamless data flow across departments, enhancing coordination and reducing errors. Secondly, utilizing data analytics can aid in predictive modeling helping in resource allocation and early intervention strategies, which is crucial in a healthcare setting. Moreover, telemedicine powered by IT can democratize healthcare, making it accessible to remote or underserved populations and ensuring that quality care isn't bound by geographical limitations. IT also fortifies cybersecurity, safeguarding sensitive patient data against breaches, thereby upholding trust and compliance. In essence, IT optimizes operational efficiency and plays a pivotal role in enhancing patient outcomes by facilitating timely data-driven decisions and extending care beyond traditional boundaries, which I believe is integral, especially in an esteemed organization like the NHS. Wow, let's move on to another NHS IT interview question. This one is tell me about yourself, or it may be phrased as introduce yourself. Now you're bound to be asked this right at the start of your interview and it's your opportunity to get your interview off to a brilliant start and impress the hiring manager. You can be the standout candidate by focusing your answer on the following things. Number one, the skills and qualities that you have. Number two, your experience and passion for working in the role and also be sure to tell them how you're going to add value to their organization. How are you going to add value to the NHS in this IT role? A great way to do all of that is to make sure you study the job description in detail and focus on telling the hiring manager or interview panel how your skills are a perfect match for those that they desire. So for example, if on the job description it states they're seeking someone who is analytical with great communication abilities, then throughout your NHS IT interview answers, be sure to use those exact terms. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I'm a passionate IT professional with over six years of experience specializing in data management and cybersecurity. Graduating with a degree in computer science, I've successfully managed IT projects in healthcare settings, ensuring robust, secure and user-friendly solutions. My journey in healthcare IT was inspired by a personal event witnessing the critical role of technology in patient care during a family member's hospital stay. 
I am particularly drawn to the NHS due to its commendable mission and the pivotal role it plays in public health. My expertise in safeguarding patient data and enhancing system efficiencies align seamlessly with the NHS's objectives. I bring a blend of technical skills, a deep understanding of healthcare operations and a genuine commitment to leveraging IT to enhance healthcare delivery. I am excited about the prospect of contributing to the NHS, ensuring secure and efficient IT systems that facilitate exemplary patient care. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video only if you want to, because it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 21 NHS IT interview questions and answers for all NHS trusts to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, here is the next NHS IT interview question. Can you provide an example of a healthcare IT project you've worked on? Why are you being asked this question? Well, you're being asked this because they need to assess your practical experience and your problem solving skills in a healthcare IT project. So make sure you focus on describing a specific project, outlining your role and contributions, while particularly highlighting how the IT solution improved a healthcare related process or outcome. Here is a great top scoring answer to help you. Can you provide an example of a healthcare IT project you've worked on? Certainly, in my previous role, I spearheaded an IT project aimed at implementing a telemedicine service, which was particularly crucial during the pandemic. The objective was to ensure patients could consult healthcare professionals without risking exposure to COVID-19. My role involved coordinating with medical staff to understand their requirements, ensuring the platform was user-friendly and Data Protection Act compliant. I led a team to develop a secure, intuitive platform that facilitated virtual consultations, prescription management and secure messaging. We integrated EHRs to ensure seamless data flow and implemented robust cybersecurity protocols to safeguard patient data. The project was rolled out in three phases and we managed to onboard 80% of the healthcare staff within the first two months, significantly reducing physical appointments and enhancing patient care during critical times. It was a learning curve and underscored the pivotal role IT plays in adapting healthcare delivery to unprecedented challenges. Okay, here is the next NHS IT interview question. Describe a situation where you had to adapt to a change in technology or policy quickly. You're being asked this interview question because they want to assess your capability and adaptability to navigate through sudden changes and disruptions in technology within the NHS IT context. So make sure you provide your answer structured using the STAR method. STAR method stands for situation, task, action and result. So you start with the situation you faced the tasks that you needed to carry out, the action you took to achieve the task, and the result following your actions. Make sure that end result is always a positive one. So here is a top scoring answer to help you. Describe a situation where you had to adapt to a change in technology or policy quickly. Absolutely, adapting to change is pivotal in IT. At my previous position, a policy shift necessitated the rapid implementation of GDPR compliance across all our platforms. Given the sensitive nature of healthcare data, ensuring adherence while maintaining functionality was paramount. I was tasked with leading the adaptation project. My approach entailed forming a cross-functional team to conduct a comprehensive audit of our systems, identifying gaps in data protection and privacy. We then developed a roadmap to modify our databases and interfaces, ensuring data minimization and enabling secure data portability. Concurrently, I facilitated training sessions for the IT and admin staff, ensuring they were adept at navigating the modified systems and aware of the new data handling protocols. Despite the tight timeframe, we successfully achieved compliance without disrupting our services, safeguarding both patient data and organisational integrity. It was a testament to the agility and collaborative spirit of our team. Okay, this next interview question is one that comes up time and time again during NHS interviews. And it is this, why do you want to work for the NHS? Now they want to gauge your motivation and make sure your values align with their NHS trusts. 
So make sure you give a genuine and personal response that ties together your professional skills and passions with the NHS's values and mission. Make sure you study the NHS values. That is critical to your interview success. And make sure you demonstrate that you understand the unique aspects and challenges of working in a healthcare IT environment. Let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Why do you want to work for the NHS? I am deeply motivated to work for the NHS due to its unparalleled impact on society and the immense respect I hold for its mission to provide comprehensive healthcare services to all. My aspiration is to contribute to a system that has touched the lives of countless individuals, including my own family. The NHS, with its commitment to innovation and quality care, aligns perfectly with my professional ethos and personal experiences. Having witnessed the vital role of technology in healthcare, especially during challenging times, I am eager to leverage my IT skills to enhance healthcare delivery within such a noble and impactful organisation. The NHS embodies a blend of compassion, innovation and resilience, values I deeply resonate with. Thus, joining the NHS is not merely a career choice, but a heartfelt commitment to contributing towards a system that safeguards our community's health and well-being. Now, if you want to get the full list of 21 NHS interview questions, and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt, is to please click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video for two reasons, or you can access the link in the description below. The first reason is this, it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get all of these answers we just covered, plus a total of 21 brilliant responses to NHS IT interview questions. And secondly, the next reason is, I've given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your NHS IT interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. Now if you have any questions regarding specific interviews or NHS trusts do let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with even more interview tips and advice I reply to every single person who comments on this channel it's my mission to help you prepare and pass your job interviews oh and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself thank you so much for watching I wish you all the best for your interview have a brilliant day